giving up the ball back there in your own territory. Good, good play. And you saw Waters shaking his head as he walked off the field. That's a lot better than taking your helmet off and throwing it against the bench, which he's done at times. Brian Mitchell returned the punt for a touchdown in the first quarter of 59 yards. They're going to try and stay <laughs> away from him in a terrible wow. kick. <laughs> Sails out of bounds, and let's see where they spot this. Still racing along the sideline. And they spot it at the Washington 46-yard line. And that's what Brian Mitchell will do to you. He intimidates you so much, you try to angle away, and it's a 29-yard kick by Tom Hutton. We'll be right back. Tom Brenham and Ron Pitts and our entire Fox crew back at Philadelphia's Veterans Stadium. Terrific first half, 17-10 Redskins. Both these teams coming in at 2-3. Both coming off wins last week. And the Redskins are trying to win back-to-back -back games in the same season for the first time since 92. High formation. And they give us to Terry Allen. He's up close to midfield. Now get ready for the biggest surprise of the new season. It's Al Bundy as you've never seen him before. Say amen to the Reverend Al on a brand new Married with Children tonight at 9 Eastern, 8 Central on Fox. Washington running game slow to get started after piling up 136 yards on the ground last week against Dallas. Allen is eighth carry. And again, not much room. It'll bring up third and five. Tackle made by Mamula, Gunn, and Govea. Well, our Aflac trivia question, which two quarterbacks were traded for each other? Redskins and Eagles swapping QBs back in 1964. And don't say I've been given the answer ahead of time because I wasn't last night. <laughs> That's just simply not true. <laughs> it is true. I'm telling you, you guys locked me out. Three receivers check in for Norv Turner. Shepard, Westbrook, and Ellard on his third and four. All right. Depending on the spot, he finds Leslie Shepard, but the former Redskin, Barry Wilburn, met him immediately. He needed to get to the 44 just inside there. And let's see where they spot it. It's going to be very close. But he might be a bit short. Yeah, and that's a mistake if he is on Shepard's part. He's got to know. And that's a fourth down, right? Shepard, and they're going to come down inside and run just a little drag right in front of the first down marker. The mistake is he's got to bend this thing back a little bit and get upfield. Good tackle by Wilbert, knowing where the first down marker is and driving him back. Calvin Martin waits at his own 10 on this Matt Turk punt and he'll let it sail it drops and then it's batted out of bounds at the one by Brian Mitchell is there anything Brian Mitchell cannot do we're gonna get one of those uh... oh wait a minute they may say it went into the end zone well, Mitchell was there nonetheless so they'll bring it out to the 20, apparently. I'll, I'll tell you the guy who really messed up on this deal is Morrison 38. Morrison 38 didn't know where the ball was. He could have got to it a lot easier than Mitchell could have. NFL Sunday is brought to you by Mitsubishi, the new thinking in automobiles. Now back to action. Ricky Waters taking the pitch from Rodney Pete. And he picked up three. It'll bring up second down and seven for the Eagles, trailing Washington 17-10. You know, I keep thinking about this punt. What they said was that his foot, Mitchell's foot, was on the line as he hit the ball back out. Coming up right here. They're saying his foot is on that line. Pete to throw. And now he'll keep it himself. Ross is a 30 out to the 35. Good enough for a Philadelphia first down. Patton on the tackle. And we talked about the awareness he has coming from Detroit and using that run and shoot. I think that's an example of it right there. 
seeing everything covered up and being used to taking off with the ball a little bit. And he makes a good play out of it right there. 11 yard gain by Pete. This one has gone back and forth. Philadelphia got a 55 yard touchdown run. Adding to the 209 yards of offense for the Eagles. That got the scoring started. We've had a Mitchell punt return for a touchdown. Back to the ground. It's Garner flag in late on the play. He got it out to the 40 for a gain of nearly five. But let's hold on a minute. They could have a hold here. You called it, Ron Pitts. The yes, defensive linemen are on the lead. They see holding. Holding, number 88, offense. Ten-yard penalty, first down. Uh, that's Jimmy. Jimmy Johnson, 88, the tight end. Johnson, another top. former Redskin, and there are a few of those on his Philadelphia team. We talked about McKenzie and Johnson and Kurt Gobain and Wilburn, among others. And everybody's playing mind games trying to think, okay, they know me, so what are they going to try to do to me? And Kurt Gobain was doing that yesterday. He's got his whole list of things that he knows the Redskins are going to try to do to him. First and 20. Pete throws. And Ken Harvey had him wrapped up around the leg. But apparently Pete able to get it away, and <laughs> he doesn't take a sack. And, uh, now, now Rodney bought himself one there, okay? He, he, he got away with one on that one. He wants to look right down the middle. There's nothing there. He comes back, and now Harvey's got him. And this one, you're, when you're a linebacker, Harvey's going to... That should be down. That should be down. I mean, he's in the grasp right there. That should be a sack. Ken Harvey, a pro bowler a season ago, became the first Redskin to lead the NFC in sacks when he had 13 and a half of those. Coming over! And again, the play blown dead. Philadelphia having its problems the last two possessions offensively. Well start. And they started too early this time. I think it was Guy McIntyre. See here, this is where the self-destruction starts to start now for Philadelphia. The dumb mistakes deep in your own territory. Well, the Eagles this season in the first quarter have been the best team in the NFL. They have outscored their opponents 34 to three. It was 10-10 at the end of the first quarter today. But Washington, a touchdown here in the second and a seven-point lead. Second and 25, <laughs> dump it off to Waters. And he brings it out to the 36. So to bring up a third down and nine, Patton, the first man to meet him. Well, that's a good example of using a guy. Waters right here, just going to leak out. And Pete is going to look downfield. If he doesn't see what he wants, under three seconds, he's dumping. And that's part of the timing. Look at the room he has because everybody's been stretched vertically up the field. You get the ball to a guy like this, that's an extended handoff. That's all it is. He catches that ball two yards in front of the line of scrimmage and runs for another 10-15. Gain of 16, it's third and nine. He has a man across the middle, Kelvin Martin. First down, Philadelphia. So after facing a second and 25, back-to-back -back pickups and big ones for the Eagles. First to Waters and now 17 to Martin. Martin's going to come down and work right into this area here. But the thing that caused this play to work, look at that right there. The traffic sucks up the linebackers. And that gives Rodney a window. He can see now. And vision is important. He's got to be able to see downfield. And Rodney Pete, he's not a, a tall quarterback. Pete is on 11 of 18. Yeah. Back to the ground. It's Waters. Oh, he slips through somehow and drags tacklers down to the 36. Tom Carter able to wrestle him down. Ricky has been criticized for not having the vision, but I want you to watch the way he picks his holes in here. He doesn't have anything there. He looks back, back, and there a hole open. A bad job of tackling, but this is the Ricky Waters that they brought here. This is what they want to see. And once again, I think the balance of being able to throw, 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 but yet use him out of the backfield. Get him the ball in different situations really helps our game. Doing that here today. Waters oh. spins out of one tackle, then lost his footing. Oh. Down to the Washington 31-yard line. 
That is a great move right there. Talk about a guy, 6'1", 217, that's light on his feet like that. I mean, he stopped behind the, the line of scrimmage for about a three-yard loss, spins out, and makes a play out of it. Well, you see the total yards for Waters, 71. He comes in fifth in the league in total yards from scrimmage, seventh in rushing. So while it may not meet all the expectations, the numbers are still decent for Ricky Waters. They are, they are absolutely. On a second and five, juggled and then caught while falling down by Jimmy Johnson. Another Philadelphia first down to the Redskin 22. Look at the replay here. Just a quick throw out to Johnson. Now, he doesn't get very far down the field. And this is just good concentration here. But his route is about a two-yard route. The West Coast offense wants to get the ball to good receivers, talented people, and make them good athletes. Let them run with the ball. Let them use their ability with that. Lead again to the air. Broken up. And Calvin Williams looking for a flag, and now he has it. Carter came over the top of Williams. Calvin turned around and said, how about some help? When you come over the top of a receiver, it's going to be tough to not get called for pass interference. Number 25. 18 yards on the pass interference penalty. And it's first and goal at the five. Williams is going to work down inside here. I want you to watch Tom Carter. He's going to come down right over the top of him, right there. Anytime you come over the receiver's head and make him dip, duck his head and bend down, you're going to get the call. He's going to try to come to the left or to the right with one hand. But if you come over the top, they're going to call you for it, whether you get ball or not. McCurry and Garner in the backfield. Again, is to Garner, and he's close to the one of Philadelphia. Had a hard time, to say the least, inside the red zone last week. Had to settle for five Gary Anderson field goals. And, you know, Ray told me, he said, the thing is that we got to have an attitude down there. When I was in, in Frisco, hey, people stepped up. Jerry knew he could make a play. Brent Jones knew they could make They wanted to. The confidence. He said, we got to have that kind of attitude here. An impressive drive for the Eagles. He checks off on a second and goal from the two. Looking to the end zone. Keeps it himself. And did he get in? Apparently not. Inside the one. I tell you what, Rodney Pete gave it up for the program there. He looked a lot like Randall Cunningham going up in that corner of the end zone. I've seen that before firsthand. Thank you very much. Well, that's the difference between being 6'4 and 6 feet. You get in <laughs> on this play. Now, he wants Barnett to come back to him. Barnett can't do it. He tries to jump over the top. See, Roddy didn't have the kind of long legs to make that play. you got to be able to get up in the air to make that. See the story last week. Third and goal. The ball lost on the ground in the exchange between McKenzie and Pete. And now they'll have to uncover some bodies. Philadelphia has the football back, but shy of the goal line. And the worst part about that, the line surge from the Philadelphia Eagles was outstanding. You're going to see the line of scrimmage completely move two yards forward. Do you go if your head coach Ray Rhodes? Fourth and goal. Watch the line, sir. I want you to watch the way the line of scrimmage changes. Look at that. God McIntyre, he gets all the way into the end zone. They got an opening there. If he has that ball, he can get in. Well, they're going. Fourth down and goal. 17-10 Redskins. trying to roll in. Touchdown, Eagles. What a game we have today here in Philadelphia. They gave it to him on the second effort. And Charlie Garner, this is the guy that raised it. We got to get the ball to more. Ricky's nice, but this guy is really nice. Watch the line surge underneath here. The first effort is stopped. He stopped. That's Marcus, Marcus Patton coming over the top. The rollover right there gets him the touchdown. Second rushing touchdown today by Gardner, his fourth this season. And we are tied at 17. 
in this 121st meeting.